Hello everyone, this is Michael Jaw 75 again. Um, haven't done a deck video in a while because I've been busy with work and college stuff, so I would like to go back and revisit one of my first deck videos, which um, has over a hundred views, I'm surprised, from its release. And I got a couple more cards from the Abyss Rising series because I wanted to get the rest of the Heroic Challengers. Um, I got the common ones, but I didn't get any of the XZ ones, and there are a couple of them that are pretty good, and that would be good for my deck, but, um, the other cards that I got are pretty sufficient, so I'm going to start from the monsters and do spells and traps, the eggsies, and then talk a little bit why, um, I made the changes that I did, and if you haven't checked out the original Warrior Heroic Beatdown deck video, uh, you should probably go check it out. If you'd like. If not, then it's okay. I'm not worried about the views. So, starting off with some of the monsters I have in here. I have Silent Swordsman LV5. Cyber Dragon. Blade Knight. Rocket Warrior. Have two Heroic Challenger Double Lances. Then I have three Heroic Challenger... Spartans, two Heroic Challenger Sword, sh sword Shields, bleh, have difficulty saying that, Heroic Challenger Night Watchmen, two of those. I don't have extra swords because although it's good for the XZ summons to have a thousand uh, attack bonus boost, it's not really worth it unless I got um, Heroic Challenger Excalibur, which would be a massively, massively ownage. Then I have just some of the common staple cards, uh, two Marauding Captains, two Exile Forces, a Goblin Attack Force, a Gigantes, and the Rare Metal Dragon. And again, I said this in the last video, even though it's not a warrior type, it has a good attack power for, for the card that it is. Because there can only be special summons, so that would be good in combination with Marauding Captain. Um, I didn't go so much into a numerous amount as of Heroic Challengers as I thought I would. Because I, originally I was going to post a Heroic Challenger deck strictly, but um, I kind of miss using some of these staple cards down here. So, uh, it, it, again, this is like a fusion of what I had from before. And I took out the Warhammers from the original schematic deck list and all, because even though I can use the Bring Sword Breaker and choose the type that I wanted to just KO instantly, um, I think the effort to try to bring those out would be a little bit wasted. And it would take too much time to uh, do. So I feel that just doing level 4 XZ summons are pretty sufficient enough. And the XZ cards that I have, dang, I'm going to hit the camera, but oh well, doesn't matter. Um, the XZ cards that I have for this deck are Gaga Ga Cowboy, Fairy King Albert Ditch, and One-Eyed Skill Gainer. Now this one, you may think, why do you have this in here, but, and it's a plant type, um, but it's good because all non-Earth monsters, when I remove a material, from it, it lowers their attack and defense by 500. And I know, I guess what I can tell based on the releases and all that, that almost half of the monsters, or even most of them, are Earth attributes. But there is a slight chance where I might face a monster that isn't. And if I wanted to try and lower its attack a little bit more, and this would be really good in combination with Rocket Warrior, because then I can use this. And then attack the monster, not take any damage, and decrease its attack even further. And then pop it away with whatever monster I want to choose. I was glad to get Gaga Ga Cowboy as a pool from Abyss Rising. And I've actually seen a couple of reviews. I can't remember the YouTuber um, that actually did a post on this that did a review for it. And there's a bunch of people, but... Um, I'll probably give a shout out to them 
for what they contributed into doing this. And this is a really versatile card because um, it, it only has 1500 attack, attack, but in attack position it says if this card attacks an opponent's monster during this turn, it gains a thousand attack and the opponent's monster loses 500 attack during the damage step only. So this, along with King Alverditch and Rocket Warrior, Total of 1,500 attack being lost, and this gaining 1,000 attack points. So I have a pretty good chance at killing um, a high, a high-powered monster. Let's say uh, probably something. The most I could do is 4,000. Because if it was any higher, I couldn't do anything about it. But Gaga Gaga Cowboy would be good at either doing a Kamikaze or ultimately destroying a monster, even with 1,500. And if it's in defense position, and with both of these effects, you have to remove a XZ material, you inflict 800 damage. So this is good. I would say this is good for if you're trying to do a burn deck, this would be good to have in there. Um, I guess if you had three of these in your XZ, in your extra deck or whatever, and you were able to bring them out, you could do more than 4,000 worth of just burn damage from this guy. And you would just, you know... I have to do a couple of attacks and that's it. One-eyed skill gainer. Um, although it's not... It only kind of does a mimic of an XZ monster your opponent would have. And I don't think... I, again, I haven't tried this deck out against someone. But um, this really would just kind of be like a safeguard card... Just in case I get in a tight squeeze and they have an XZ monster on their side of the field that they bring out and it's like really good, then I would use this guy. Because he used this, you need to have three level four monsters to bring out. And that right there is just, uh, depending on how you're good at defending your monsters and negating the attacks and all that, you can bring this guy out. But other than that, it has some good stats, 2,500 attack and 2,600 defense. So if you want to have a good attacker or wall, so to speak, momentarily, uh, this would be good for it. So I hope those monsters will be useful. Now to go into the spells and traps. Slight changes in what I have. So starting off with reinforcements of the army. Pot of Avarice. Heavy Storm. Two mystical space typhoons. A monster reborn. One nobleman of cross out. Two warrior returning alive. My body as a shield. Dark hole. Book of moon. Enemy controller. And lightning vortex. And I guess with this one. Uh, with the dark hole and lightning vortex. People would choose lightning vortex over dark hole. As kind of like their. Uh. Destroy monster card, but the dark hole and lightning vortex, it depends on the situation. And I would try to use dark hole on a chance where I don't have any monsters and some of my opponent's monsters are face down. So that's why I have the dark hole in here. And then lightning vortex is obviously for the face up monsters. And then what I have for the traps are battle mania, spell shield type 8, 7 tools of the bandit. An XZ soul. I was a little bit, um, I was a little bit concerned with using just one card for XZ monsters, but since I'm not used to using XZ summons yet, and I'm still trying to learn the kinks behind them, I think it's just to play it safe with just this one card because it does give a temporary attack boost to all of your monsters depending on rank. So I have a rank four for all of them. And so they would gain 800 attack points, but that's good because then I can have some monsters that are 3,000 or more in their attack. And then I have Heroic Advance, which with this, um, I'm replacing the Heroic Redemption Swords that I had in the other deck with these guys. And it's not so much as to destroying my opponent's monsters, but to inflict the battle damage. Because I already got a couple of cards up here, and with the Exile Forces, uh, I already have those cards set for destroying monsters. So I don't want to be overdoing with destroying monsters, but to build up the damage and to ultimately annihilate my opponent in 
a quick manner. Now, what I hope for this deck is um, with the damage, and I'll go over this briefly because I don't want to go into detail on it and make it too long, which I already am, but uh, ultimately having at least two of these guys out on the field and then through my traps with Battle Mania and Heroic Advanced, these cards right here are ultimately what will bring utter destruction to my opponent. Because with Heroic Challenger Spartans, with having even just two of them on the field, uh, they'll be safeguarding each other. And what I mean by that is, um, when it goes into my opponent, when my opponent declares an attack, I can choose another face-up heroic monster, except for this card. So, that means this card alone, I can't choose itself, but I can choose another Spartan if I want to, and kind of double dip on both. So, with that, they would both have 3,200 attack points. And this card right here with Battle Mania will force my opponent to go into battle phase. So that's ultimately bringing the tag team duo right here. Then what I would use is Heroic Advance. And if I have both of them on the field, then it would be a very good sweep for them. Because this doubles their attack points. It doesn't say original, so it says doubling their attack. So they will both... If both of these go through, have 6,400 attack points. And that would ultimately do, depending on their attack points, they probably most likely have 1,900 or 2,000. But that's a lot of damage. And even with the 2,000 attack on one of these guys, that's almost half of their life points. And if I'm able to activate both of these right here for these two guys... That's an instant game right there, unless they come up with some counter or whatever. But again, this deck is more of counteracting what my opponent would play. So even if they did Lightning Vortex, my body as a shield would guard these two from being destroyed. And do, using cards as like uh, Mystical Space Typhoon or um, Heavy Storm, I have counter cards to go against those. So Spell Shield Type 8 would be good could add Magic Jammer in this deck, but my opponent would most likely discard a spell card anyways, unless they really needed it. So, that's what I want to do with this deck. But, I want to thank you for taking the time to listen to my banter and rant on uh, such a nerdy, 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 nerdy concept. And, I hope to try this deck out. And hopefully get some footage of duels going on, which I think that will be for quite some time. But, um, well, I can't do my original outro, but thank you for watching, and this is Michael MichaelJaw75 signing out. See you next time.